All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say, um, ooh, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are going to be looking at your birthday reading, okay, to see what is coming up um, for your birthdays, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and uh, this week is a week of the air event and i'm advising a lot of you to really go back or really really go back and listen to your um season reading because your season reading is uh, um going to be giving you a lot of information that you were not aware of so you gotta go back and listen to your season reading okay these are very important because it helps you to understand what you're going to be coming up uh, with or um, what is going to be transpiring in your world as you move forward in the year okay so this is going to be absolutely important all right so um it is virtue for all of you to look at the season readings because in those week uh, um it, it's going to be coming up and it's going to be showing up uh, what it is you need to do okay what is very important what it is that you need to do um which direction is good to go in okay that is absolutely um good to do and to understand okay so there is a lot um that is going to be going on all right and uh, um a lot of changes is going to be coming up and uh, I have changed up this reading somehow in order to for people to um to understand their elemental group because the more people understand their elemental group uh, is the more people will recognize uh, how to work with your soul family okay so your element the people in your element or your soul family okay and that is going to be beautiful all right so what i always do is select the cards on camera okay so we're going to do a shuffle for your birthdays and then we're going to be going in the reading and we are going to be starting to work with elements because um a lot of people are not recognizing and understand um how elements have a, a whole lot to do with your life okay and we have to advise people as to how that work okay. all right so first let's see what is going to be coming out so we have the world a cycle is over this reading is from the fifth until the 11 okay and a cycle is now over oh my god all right don't worry I will show you them. A cycle is now over, okay? Um, for the people who were born on the 12, you have um, the energy of judgment, okay? Then we have a new start for the people who were born on um, the 5th, 6th, 7th, okay? People who were born on the 8th, the energy of the lovers, People who were born on the ninth debt transition. People who were born on the 10th, the energy of the Empress, money, financial stability, creativity. People um, who were born on the 11th, the energy of the hangman. It is going to be a very, 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 it's going to be a very, 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 um, like kind time when you're reflecting okay you're going to be reflecting and this is going to be good all right so as you reflect you're going to be recognizing how good that is and how you are going to be feeling all right and this is going to be absolutely fabulous so let's see what is coming up so we're first looking at the people who were born on the fifth you have the energy of the world so a cycle is over and i see a lot of you are going to be 
financial stable okay this is the four of pentacles you're really going to be financial stable whatever that was happening in transparent money is going to be coming in and i see you're dealing with an aries leo or sagittarian moving forward okay a lot of you a cycle is over for this person so if you um you young people you young um aries who were born on the 5th of april i see the end um for a financial situation and i see a lot of you are going to be moving forward now um this is really wonderful because what is happening in transparent is that some of you could have had some sort of a financial situation it's as if you're going to be paying paying off some sort of a debt that you have so this is going to be good so some of you could be paying off a whole lot of debts um that you had and you're going to be moving forward i see a lot of young people are definitely going to be financial stable and this is going to be good a whole lot of young people is going to be really financial stable and it is going to be um really a positive experience and this is going to be good so um this is really a wonderful wonderful situation that is going to be transpiring because you're going to be recognizing that financially things are changing for you whatever financial hardship you had that is going to be over and uh, you are going to be moving forward in a very positive direction so the energy of the world is about cycle hardship of your financial cycle is going to be over and you're going to be learning to start saving and holding your money and a lot of you are going to be like moving out having a job but that is going to be good i see peace is here peace is here for a lot of you um it's as if a lot of you were going through a whole lot of problems issue that sort of a situation financially and uh, peace is going to be coming in um peace is going to be here because it's as if a whole lot of stuff uh, um, people are going to be recognizing for themselves uh, that a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of problems is now coming to an end. So this is a real wonderful, uh, wonderful um, situation that was happening in transpiring. Whatever the problems is uh, that was created, the money, um, the financial issue, it is going to be good. You're going to be coming out on top. So that is... um absolutely absolutely fantastic so you have uh, work with these numbers if they are good for you um you have uh, um a positive alignment of energy moving forward okay and that is the world number 21 i see financial stability number four is coming in and you're going to be receiving a new start okay you're going to be moving forward all right, then we see this, um, the people who were born on the 6th, judgment call, judgment call. People who are born on the 6th of April, there's going to be some sort of a judgment call. Now, whatever is transpiring and is happening, this judgment call um, is coming down on you and you're standing your grounds very strongly against something, against some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation. You're really, really standing your ground and recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring, really standing your ground in a very, very positive way and really understanding the unusual circumstances that, that was transpiring around you, okay? Then we see the energy of the haze of swords and you're really using your communication skill your communication skill in this year is going to be extremely good so this is going to be a wonderful alignment of energy so whatever the problem the issue the situation is and was your communication skill is very good and whatever you have communicate have really cleared up a whole lot of situation and is going to be clearing up a whole lot of situation so the judgment call that is coming in, whatever information, whatever that is going to be coming at you, you're going to be standing your ground and understand, listen, I communicate very clearly what was happening, what was transpiring. I make the changes and I'm standing my ground that this these changes will be carried out. And I see that you're going to be very, very successful doing that because people are now going to be understanding and recognizing um, the issues, the problem, the situation that was transpiring. So I see a lot of you could have a whole lot of battles uh, 
um, a whole lot of things are coming at you, a whole lot of bottles, a whole lot of situation. But what is going to be transparent is that you're going to be all coming out of this. So if you are born on the 6th of April, whatever bottles that is coming at you, whatever judgment call that is coming at you, whatever things that is going to be coming at you, you're going to be able to um, stand your ground and stand your ground in a very, very powerful way. All right. I see that some sort of a blockage or some sort of a uncertainty that was there is now clear up some sort of a unusual uncertainty that was there is now cleared up people are recognizing seeing the truth understanding what has gone wrong understanding um the problems that was created and now you use the sword of truth to speak up and clear up a whole lot of uncertainties that was there because your information was very very clear all right so what we're seeing is that you are using the sword of truth to remove any uncertainty anything that was not clear you're you're communicating and you're clearing this up and you're going to be understanding um how to deal with certain issues and it says if you have clarity resolving a whole lot of situations so you have two you have seven and you have one two seven and one all right we're moving forward to the people who were born on the seventh you are going to be having a new start you're leaving the um a taurus Virgo, or capricorn man behind was this your husband who was this person um so if you were born on the seventh who is this person because i see in this year you're going to be walking away leaving this person you have recognized who this person is and you are really going on a new start leaving this person behind could is it your father is it your partner is it your brother this is an older man this man is an older man this man is 50 years and older and i see you're turning your back to this person so whoever this person is whether it's a family member or it is someone in your life you are taking some sort of a new start and walking away from this person, leaving this person to deal with their issues. So, and I see you the battle that you had with this Aries Leo Sagittarius with this Taurus Virgo or Sagittarius in person is now over. Because you stood your ground and you showed up for yourself. And whatever battles, whatever inconsistency, whatever problems, whatever situation that this person was trying to bring in your life, it is now over because you stood your ground and you decide this year is the year that I'm leaving you behind and I no longer want to deal with this problem, this issue or this situation. And you're right to do this because it is as if a whole lot of un uh, certainties that was created in your world and situation you were dealing with with this man is now over because you recognize I no longer um, want to deal with this anymore I want to take back my life and move forward because you have uh, created a mess in my life so you're really really standing your ground and you're letting a situation go so um, whoever this person is is as if uh, you were battling you have been battling with this person for a very long time and you're going to be deciding i no longer want to battle with you i'm ending this and i'm taking my life back and i'm and you know i'm going to be taking my life back and move forward because you have been um totally totally creating a whole lot of chaos and a whole lot of problems and situation for me and that is not what i want so you are really going to be taking back your power and yay, yay, yay. You're going to be coming out of this being very, very happy because you took back your powers. And um, by you standing up to this person who have been just running over you for a very, very long time, you just take back your power and just show up this person and just let them know that, hey, this situation and this problem that has been happening that has been transpired i'm letting it go now this is going to be let go because i need to resolve issues and problems for myself and you have been a huge issue and problems for me and i am no longer going to be moving forward in uh, leaving this year with you um, been creating so well, so much problems and issues. So here you are. You're going to be happily, surprisingly getting something and happily, surprisingly walking away from the undesirable play of this man. 
So, um, you know, let's go back and come to Rack um, and see, because this is a collective reading. And we're looking at only the people um, that, uh, and, you know, this is going to be affecting each and every person because this is a cycle. You're in a collective reboot for a cycle. So all of what is coming up is going to be affecting each and every person. So if you were born on the 5th, you're going to uh, the um, the 5th of uh, April, the next energy behind, the next row behind, you're going to be dealing that with that issue. And that is going to be in the month of May. And then in June, you're going to be coming up and dealing with these issue. But um, it's as if... Uh, you're coming in this year um, having problems and issue, but these problems and issue will be resolved. All right, let's look at the people that was born on the 8th, the energy of the lovers, and this is going to be good. I see the 6 of 1s. The 6 of 1s is in the reverse. Now, some of you are going to be having problems, marriage problems, a whole lot of marriage problems, problems that is going to be coming up with your mom, with your kids. So that sort of an issue is going to be coming up. All right. So when um, it could be also with contracts, but this is more of a marriage problems. OK, and you are going to be receiving some sort of a news about a child, some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue with a child, some sort of a situation you are trying to resolve with your husband, your wife or your child's father or mother, some, you know, all of that is going to be coming up in this year. But it is a situation where the lovers is here. And whenever the lover comes up, it is always about uh, marriages. OK, it's always about the kids, uh, your father and mother. And uh, whatever the issue is, so there is going to be some sort of an unconventional problem. And you got to face it on and try to resolve it and just face it on. Try to resolve it. Just face it on moving forward. Okay. A whole lot of problems with kids is going to be coming up and you're going to be recognizing um, that a lot of you women are going to be having to deal with a whole lot of issues with kids. So if you have kids, if you're trying to get kids, however, this is going to be transpiring. A whole lot of you mothers are going to be having a whole lot of problems with your kids. So it's a year um, where... The energy of love is here, but it's as if you need to balance out a lot of problems and a lot of situation that was coming up and transpiring in um, in order to um, end some sort of issues you were having with your parents and that sort of a situation. So be aware of this. Go back and listen to um, the, um, the the Aries um, reading, the Aries season reading in order to see which week. I think the week of the 5th till the 11th is the third week, okay? The third week. So listen and see and pick the crystal that comes up in the third week because that is going to be helping you. Then we see the 7 of cups. So we're, and uh, for you guys, you have the energy of the lover twice 6, 601. 661 661 so it's all about materialistic stability it's all about bringing some sort of a balance in your world then we're looking at the people who were born on the ninth and transition is coming up transition is coming up and this transition is going to be very emotional no matter what is happening transition is coming up it's going to be very emotional it could be a death in the family um, that you're going to be finding out. But whatever this transition is that is coming up, it's going to be extremely, extremely emotional. So it depends on who you are and where you are and what you were doing. And I see transition is coming up for you men, and it's going to be hard to deal with. Men 50 years and older, men on a whole, some sort of a huge transition is going to be coming up for you men. An end is going to be coming into some sort of a um, emotional situation. So it could be family issue, business issue, problems at work, but it's going to be very emotional. It could be that some of you are going on pension. Um, this is a possibility that a whole lot of you men could be going on pension. So whatever is coming up is going to be very emotional for you men because you men are going to be now recognizing the unsavory play or that a situation needs to end and it is very emotional and it's as if uh, um this is looking as if a lot of you 
um, or going on pension, leaving something. And I see a fast ending, so a debt. Some of you who were born on the ninth, a debt could be coming up, several debts in the family. And men, you are going to be affected very heavily. And this is why you men are going to be so emotional. So the energy of that is here with the eight of the seven of cups in reverse. So that is like really emotional sadness, um, emotional sadness. And for you men, a really fast ending is going to be coming in. So men, be careful about accidents in um, this year you men could prone to a lot of accidents. Okay. So be aware of this because, um, this is like fast ending, just coming in abruptly, bomb. It's over. It's out. Uh, some sort of a fast. Uh, so it could be accidents. A lot of you men are going to be prone to accidents in this, uh, um, in this year. Okay. A lot of you men, whatever that was happening and transpiring, you men are going to be so, prone to some sort of an accident that will happen. So you got to be aware. Transition, ending, it, uh, ending, causing a whole lot of emotional instability for a lot of you. Okay, so something is just going to be coming to an end. Someone could be dying that create this emotional. Or some of you could be your work. Or some of you could be your job. Some of you, it could be uncertainty situation um, with relationships and just abruptly, uh, end came in so we see that that is always uh, um the number 13 7 okay uh 10 okay so um it's a rebirth for whole for, for for a whole lot of you it's going to be some sort of a rebirth that is going to be coming up and transpiring all right let's move forward and see what is coming up for the people who were born under 10 the energy of the Empress, the Five of Swords is in reverse. So a lot of you women, are, or a lot of you women was worried um, in a conflict. You was very worried over a lot of problems, situation that was going on. It is going to be over in this year. A lot of you men that was worried about your wife finding out about something, this is going to be also over in this year because whatever that was going on and transpiring, the worries is going to be over. A lot of you that was worried about your mom, some sort of a problem that was there with your mom. This is also going to be over in this year. And as you begin this year, you're going to be seeing all the worries that you were carrying and you were caring for about is definitely going to be over, especially when it has to do with any sickness, any female sickness that you had. This worries is also going to be over. A lot of you men was worried about your wife, your wife that is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. So if you were born on the 10th of April, a lot of you men that was worried about your wife, that is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. I see this worries is going to be over. Whatever the issues and the problem that you were having with your wife that is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, um, it is going to be released. Maybe this person is a sister. Maybe this person is a friend. But it's coming up as either a mother or a wife. And a lot of you um, men were so worried about this person. So really, really worried about this person. And this worry is now going to be over. So um, we're going to be seeing why is this worry is over. Is because you're going to be getting some sort of a news from this person or some sort of a information that this person is going to be delivering to you or you could be delivering to this person is going to be bringing your worries to an end. So a lot of you could be a mom, your mom that is a Pisces can cancer scorpion that you were worried about. Now the worries is now going to be over and whatever that was there, I see, um, especially you men that was uh, uh, married to this person, I see an ending to your marriage. So if you were married to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, I see that she's going to be delivering some sort of a news that the marriage is now come to an end. So, um, you know, be aware of this because this person is really going to be bringing out um, the news. So, you know, and it is good if you guys do a birthday reading as a birthday solar year reading because that gives out so much information that that let you understand so much information um that is coming out. So you men that is married to a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person, I see this person is going to be divorcing or asking for divorce at this timeline. So um 
we have the energy of the empress three five three and five and one three five and one all right let's see um what is happening for the people who were born um on the 11th a lot of you are now recognizing um some sort of information came out and you're recognizing something about an aquarian gemini or libran whoever this aquarian gemini or libran is some sort of information is now out you are recognizing who this person is it's as if you went within to find out something and the information you're going to be receiving it is a year of the energy of the hangman and whenever the hangman is here it is a year where you're going in trying to figure out things on your own instead of asking people and you're going to be figuring out whatever is going on you're going to be figuring out you're going to be putting the puzzles together and this is going to be good because then this you're going to be recognizing what was happening what was transpiring and how you are showing up uh, something that people was basically not aware of and people are now recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring because what you're recognizing now is that by you going within in order to find out you know where am i at so what is uh, which direction i should go in it is going to be serving you um you know it's as if you're healing yourself because you know aries you are the first house and you are the energy of mars and whenever you're quietly going with, within in order to figure out and um know what was going on that means you want to heal yourself so a lot of you are going to be basically basically healing yourself and this is going to be absolutely fabulous and you are going to be recognizing that it's good for me to go within and heal myself instead of i'm looking for healing outside ah six of pentacles so this is what i was saying exactly this is about self-healing this is about working on yourself this is about uh, in or oh, in instead of going outside asking for help you're going within in order to um figure out what is going on and how you're going to be managing um some sort of a situation that you were dealing with and understanding how to manage this situation and how to balance out yourself and this is going to be absolutely fantastic so i see help this is about self-help and i see also help financially is coming in a lot of you are going within to find out how to expand your financial stability and this is going to be absolutely good and by doing this you're going to be recognizing a whole lot of unconventional situation that was basically transpiring around you that you're going to be um, balancing out so whether it is emotional financial or um you know there was problems and things that you need to bring to a balance it doesn't really matter what it is you're going to be able to balance this out and this is going to be absolutely fabulous so people who are born on the 11th it is going to be good there's no question i see a lot of you if you were hoping for some sort of a new contract some sort of a business deal some sort of a collaboration this is going to be good a lot of people are going to be recognizing um, a lot of people who were hoping for some sort of a new job offer. Um, this is going to be coming in if you were trying to buy a house or anything materialistic, a car, furniture, uh, you know, building on. Yes, it's going to be happening. And a whole lot of people are going to be making sure that this happened for a lot of you. So people who are born on the 11th. 11th is very special because it is the opening of portals that is coming in. And this is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So this is going to be a good year. Let's look at the Celtic cross. So this year is going to be powerful because it's going to be a year of um, working on um, personal issues, basically working on personal issues, especially um, people who have kids. It's going to be really a year where you're working on personal issues with your kids, your parents and um you know people who are married working on their marriages and this is going to be wonderful so i see a lot of you are going to be learning to save and protect your money um much better i see a lot of you could be divorcing a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn man i see there is no good status or news for this man 
because whoever this man is I see a whole lot of emotional situation is transpiring for this person and it's as if this person is your husband or a boss an ex boss and you are or a family member that you decide you no longer rule um rule my life I'm gonna be taking back my life because this is going to be better um for myself moving forward so it, you know however way you're going to be protecting yourself standing your ground so protecting your money um at all costs and standing your grounds so, and i see the emotional situations that you were going through and you're going to be going through you're going to be coming out on top so they are recognizing something and a lot of you are going to be finding out something about a, a young Aquarian, whoever a young Aquarian is in your life. Some of you were very emotional about this young Aquarian, whoever this person is, and whatever that was transpiring, this young Aquarian had created a whole lot of emotional situations. So um, if you are a mother and you have a child that is a Aquarian and this person is between the ages of 18 and 45 there is some sort of a resolution that is going to be coming in for this young person so if you have an Aquarian uh, it is really coming up as an Aquarian but for some of you it could be majority of you it's going to be an Aquarian person but for the rest of you it's going to be an Aquarian Gemini or Libran and whatever issues whatever that you were dealing with with this person you're going to be making sure that a solution comes in for this person all right then we see a lot of you are trying to um, um, protect your financial stability I see some of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man and you're standing your ground against this person using the sword of truth to bring back some sort of a balance so this could be your child's father that you're saying you know you need to pay child support you know you have not paid child for so for so long and I'm taking on everything and I see a cycle is going to be over where this person is going to be starting to chip in and give a little it's not a lot but unexpectedly because you stood your ground I see that this person is going to be really trying to help out and this is going to be God then I see that some of you who were married to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person this person is very very um emotional so I see that some of you could be deciding to end the marriage with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man or your child's father I see a whole lot of issues with children but it's going to be resolved it is definitely going to be resolved um, and a, a new start is coming up for a whole lot of you that was in some sort of a bad relationship or some sort of a um, immoral situation that was transpiring around you and a transition is going to be coming in but um, it is going to be affecting men 50 years and older the heaviest for whatever the reason is men 50 years and older it's definitely going to be affecting you guys the heaviest and I see a whole lot of problems and issue is going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring then we see the energy of uh, emotional situation between you and your wife if um, for some of you if your wife have a child um, that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra or if your wife is a Pisces Cancer Scorpion I see a lot of you your wife is going to be asking for a divorce they are going to be getting a fast divorce in order not to go down the same that a direction that you guys had went down and they are going to be finally now bringing a marriage or a divorce to an end because they recognize um they're really jumping ship and ship ship and leaving you men they're really really just jumping ship and leaving you men and a lot of you who were hoping for some sort of a new contract i see that they're going to be making sure and really standing up in order for you to get this new contract so if you want you were borrowing money to buy a car or some um, investments uh, money that you wanted to borrow they're going to be making sure that this happens for you and they're going to be recognizing that this is what needs to be done all right let's look peace is going to be coming in so a whole lot of uncertainty that some of you ladies had 
I see um, some sort of a news is going to be coming in. But this news is about men who are married to the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion women. Um, they're going to be asking you for a divorce. Okay. So men get ready for this. If you're um, married to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, they're going to be asking for some sort of a divorce. A lot of you women who had some sort of a uncertainty, let go of that because this is going to be resolved. I see, um, a fast ending is coming in. For a Pisces can um you men that is married to this woman, and um this woman is definitely asking for a divorce, okay, and I see a lot of you um especially when you come up to the hangman energy, that energy of the hangman is going to be good because that energy of the hangman is going to be bringing you in a real positive direction moving forward. So I do love you guys. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Namaste. Until next time.